Hey guys, Brian here. Today we're going to be going through the full dynamic range of the Red Komodo. I was lucky enough to have Derek help me with this test, who's also sitting in, and we tested a range of five different cameras from the Alexa to the Epic W Helium to the Weapon Dragon, Black Magic Pocket, and of course the Red Komodo. Like and subscribe because we have a huge range of videos coming with the Red Komodo and other cameras we've tested, so uh, let's just get to it. Before we get started, here is the exposure chart that I created. It's worth noting that the camera is still technically in beta as of recording this video. And um, one thing that I ran into was that the camera doesn't go below 24 frames a second, which kind of adjusted the different parameters we needed to change for the exposure. And from the results of the test, I was able to create a digital density chart, or also called the camera response chart, that really maps out middle gray and how it changes as the exposure value changes. You can see that at our end value, as we increase exposure, the value increases, which makes sense. And to a certain point, at n plus 7, it actually stops changing value, and that's the clip point of the camera, where the sensor can literally not read out any more values than uh, what's being displayed. And on the opposite end, at n minus 8, you can see that there's no change in the dark tones because obviously that's the low end of the sensor where it can't read any more. While this chart isn't conclusive in determining the latitude of the camera, it is pretty useful seeing where the camera slows down its response in the high end and the low end of the camera. It's worth noting I'm using RED's IPP2 workflow using a BT1886 medium contrast, medium soft conversion LUT from the Log 3G10. But it does not change the results of the test because no matter what, the camera is clipping at a certain point Here's the scene reading for the test that shows the different values in the scene in relation to our middle gray. I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.